kind of a, a butch. I'm a, a soft butch. Yeah. I refuse to wear dresses and heels, but I'm a soft butch. I also don't want to carry anything heavy, run fast, or play sports of any kind. <laughs> 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 do, you, do you fix things? No, I can't, I can't do anything. See, there you I'm go. Like, yeah, I'm uh, dating online now, and I feel that my best source for go-to dates is mm -hmm. uh, bisexual nice. uh, moms who have their children late in life. They're totally You're ready. You're going to rock their They're totally ready. ready. I, have I ever converted somebody? I've converted somebody to straight. Uh-oh. <laughs> that bad? That's bad. Like Many of my exes are, uh, you know, uh, they have like husbands, like male husbands now. I can't keep know? up with you. Anymore. Yeah, but it was okay because, you know, I got the best of them. I well, maybe they the said, you know, I've had the best of lesbian. I can't do that anymore. That so now true. I have to oh, be yeah, right. right. It's all down. Yeah, so, yeah. Kink.com is pretty shocking, but... Not as shocking as Catholic school, which I went to. <laughs> <laughs> My mom was very old-fashioned, and uh, she used to spank me. And uh, and now, you know, I get off on it. So I really worry about the kids who didn't get that kind of punishment. Um, so I dated a uh, dominatrix once. So, I mean, I've always been into this side of oh, uh, nice. sexuality. But the dominatrix that I dated was not good. Oh, no. Like, we were set up by a straight woman. You know, straight people sometimes Oh, go, you love each other. I yeah. know a lesbian. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like that pain is like, I don't know. And the dominatrix was kind of a failed actress, and so what she did now was kind of beat the shit out of, uh, you know, movie Clapping company covers. executives. Oh. No, movie company kind of executives. Mm -hmm. She was not good with, uh, you know, uh, hardware, or, or she couldn't tie a knot. Like, I can really get right. out. Uh, get so away. then I was pretending like, oh, I can't get out, but I could get out. <laughs> she was like, she made me feel like Houdini. Uh, so, <laughs> she kind of ruined it for me, really. Watch this, yeah. uh, I'm out. <laughs> Have you ever tried that? Yeah. Bit yeah. of bomb? Okay, well, one time. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend who had an apartment in, in New York and he had a mirror over his bed, okay? It was nice. like, wow, you know, he was gay and it was like, he let me use his apartment while he mm -hmm. was out of town. And so uh, I wound up meeting a friend of his who was kind of very up in the industry, uh, but like um, straight and naive and didn't know anything. Mm -hmm. And so um, I got her into the apartment and then, you know, I seduced her because I'm, you know, very, I'm a womanizer. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> well, I've been accused of that on, on yes. uh, Match com, which is like great because I'm not getting laid, but oh my god, I've got a reputation. A rep. A rep yeah. yeah, I'm breaking into a male-dominated field, and so um, <laughs> and I fucking wailed on her butt, just spank, 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 and then she was all sad. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my big dominated. There was no like, puppets uh, to cheer her up. Yeah, right? oh. she was disappointed. I guess she thought that we were just going to sing folk songs and bake tempeh. <laughs> I made a, another movie called Sphere. Yeah, and, that was a big, big. Uh, and so well. it was a big. Big, uh, flop. It was a big, <laughs> yeah. big flop. It was me, Sharon Stone, and Queen Latifah. And uh, and then uh, some dude. She got eaten by jellyfish. Her last words were, I can't get the jellyfish out of me. Motherfucking jellyfish. Uh, uh, and so then after that, I was getting laid a lot because I was in a movie. A, a big movie. Uh, yeah. I did audition for a... Uh, 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 a uh, uh, Kathleen Turner movie where I was going to be one of those mates. So I went to audition for her and she was like, all right, this is where the relationship is. You're not just my mate, you're my friend as well. <laughs> so is it true that most comedians are depressed and sad and that's what drives them? Is that true for you? I know I am. <laughs> I know that most comedians have social anxiety. I personally hang out with people like artists, but they're not comedians. I do have, you know, a few comedian friends, but I know that when I invite them to a party, I have to invite normal people. To balance the, it out. Yes, because comedians are all twitchy and weird, and then they'll say something, and Liberal that room social. will empty, and then they'll drink all your liquor, and they're not. Yeah. But society needs us, but maybe not at parties. Yeah. yeah. Performing is, is really therapeutic, but I think it's also, you know, it's, it's group therapy. Everybody gets in, you know. Do you watch sitcoms? Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. I love I love all kinds of comedy. So one of my favorite movies is Dumb and Dumber. Like I'm, yeah, I'm like a 12 year old boy when I when I watch comedies and also when I have sex. But I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I like the stupid stuff. I do. I love what that. does Pride mean to you? 50, 100 prides I've done, and so like I'm so proud. I'm I'm beyond proud. I'm conceited. <laughs> uh, what Pride means to me is to think about others 
and are they having equality? To think about beyond this country, to think about the world and other countries mm -hmm. where, uh, where uh, LGBT people are, uh, you know, are in danger. And, and I mean, we're in danger in, in this country still. But we have to, like when we live in San Francisco, in the Bay Area, we have to think about other people in this country and other people Outside in the world. Of the bubble. So what pride means to me is about connecting the dots and getting justice for everyone. Mm. That's a great one. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one.